Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I probably look like the last video. That's because I'm filming two in one day. Um, I've been sick, so I'm just kind of trying to catch up on things I need to do. So this video is my empties video, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. The first empty that I literally have like a box of empties over here, so I'm just going to kind of pull them out and briefly talk about them, tell you if I like them, tell you if I repurchase them, if I wouldn't repurchase them, etc, etc. Okay, so the first one is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is a great dry shampoo. It's in the um, scent Floral Flirty Blush. So it just looks like this. It is literally completely gone. Third and fourth day hair. And it just works amazingly. I have no complaints about this. I definitely, definitely will be repurchasing this very soon. Sorry if I sound really congested or nasally. It's because I have been sick and I'm still not completely better. But I need to film YouTube. Ah, okay. Next product is Jergens Natural Glow. It looks like this. This one's in, um, this one is in medium to tan skin tones. Now I'm actually fair. But this one gives so much more color to your skin. So I think that this should just be what shade you want to be. Because the Fair Light or whatever it is, that one doesn't really change the, st the tone of your skin. And I really love it. It's amazing. And yes, I will be repurchasing that one as well. This is Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion by Banana Boat. And I can only find this one in the summertime, which is so annoying because this one works amazing. You're literally like this color. No, but you're like a nice deep color brown. You're not orange. You're not any brassy weird color. You're actually a nice deep tan color. Instant Sunless Spray by California Tan. I've had this for quite a while. That was $40. It's the number two. I don't know if that means anything. I'm imagining it's like the shade or something. But this is amazing. I really do like it. The only thing, the only complaint I have about it, and I mean those lotions don't do it. It's just this. When it comes off, you look really dirty. Um, especially like your toes and your hands. You just look really, really dirty. And I'm not a fan of that. Next is skincare. And this is my L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Texture Perfector. And it looks like this. I absolutely love this cream. It's perfect for day or night. It doesn't make you greasy. It hydrates. It moisturizes. It is so amazing. I cannot tell you how much I love this. And it says it is a day-night cream, which totally is. This is just amazing. I absolutely love it. And then to go right along with that is my L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum. So definitely love these. Um, I already repurchased this one. I haven't repurchased this one yet, but I will. If you are in the market for a new serum, um, I would definitely go with this one before I would go with this one. This one just really, I would say about a week after using this product, my face did a total 180. I barely have to put any makeup on to get a flawless finish anymore. It's just amazing. My foundation just glides right on. I don't use this two times a day anymore. I do use it just in the nighttime. So sticking to skincare, I finished up this little Pond Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. It's just like a little sample size. It's completely gone. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Um, this is an amazing, amazing cream. It's not too greasy, but it definitely hydrates the skin. And this I got at Walmart for like $2.00. So definitely recommend this. Um, I'm trying a new one. I'm using the little one. It's Pond's and it's the blue formula. That one tends to make my skin look really greasy and I have to kind of blot off some of the excess lotion or moisturizer. But I mean, it gets the job done for now. But if I had to pick one, I would definitely repurchase this one before that one. It's just a lot better. Here, these are just the Neutrogena... They have hair on them. Typical girl. Um, they're the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Telettes. Now, I have to say that I'm not really a big fan of these. They don't take off my makeup as nicely as I would like. You have to really get in there and rub your makeup off. 
Not a fan of having to do that. Here's the other one. This is another, this is a sample size that I had. And then I got this one because it was on sale. Um, so yeah, just, just don't like them very much. And then these ones I do love. I guess the sticker is gone. But they come in a little box like this. You open up the thing. It only comes with 30. So you can see. Throwing shit. Okay. You can see the size difference right here. This literally is completely full. And then this one obviously is full as well. This one was more expensive. This one's only $3. So I definitely recommend the Walmart version of the makeup towelettes. Because they work amazingly. Next, I have the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Cleaner. I like this, but once again, I like my makeup to be gone. I don't like traces of makeup when I get out of the shower. I feel like this did an okay job, but it didn't do as good of a job as some of my other, like my Maybelline, um, the one that comes in a little pink bottle. It's like a gel of taking off my makeup. When I get out of the shower and there's still mascara around my eyes, there's a problem. This is Jessie's Girl Eyeliner. It looks like this. Whoa, it like dried out or something. This tip is normally way more precise, but this is pretty much gone. It's a lot more black when it's, I don't know, normal, when it's new, I don't know. But this one I got in my Ipsy bag and it's a liquid liner and I really, really do like this. But it doesn't last very long. Um, I'd say it lasted mm, two weeks or so. It just didn't last me very long. But I do really like it. So I'm kind of on the fence about repurchasing. I really like the way that it, that it gives your eyeliner. I like the way that it does the wing and everything like that. It's a great liner. It just doesn't last very long. Next is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. Um, I'm not completely out of this. But I thought I would throw it in just because... I don't want to have to hoard it <laughs> after it's gone. So this is a great concealer. I definitely recommend it to you if you're on a budget. I don't remember exactly how much it is, um, but it works really, really great. It's what I have under my eyes today. It blends very easy. It gets rid of all the dark circles. Let me tell you, I have some dark circles and redness and everything else under my eyes because I am just really sick. So this does an amazing job of... Cancel clearing, deleting all that, making your under eyes look flawless. I actually did repurchase this because I definitely want to have a backup on hand just in case anything goes wrong. So I guess that tells you how much I do love that. A shampoo. This is the L'Oreal Paris um, Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo, right? Yeah. It says it rebuilds fibers, strength, vitality, silkiness, and shine for damaged, overworked hair. Now, I do, I, okay, I didn't really see a difference using this, and I know there's a lot of people that are like in a cult for this, but I didn't see a difference, really, I didn't, I love my Pantene, and didn't really see that big of a difference. Now, I know you're supposed to use a different shampoo on dogs, and I did not know that at the time, I thought that it was fine, because I've used my Pantene shampoo on my dogs forever and I've never ever in my life had a problem with it. I've been using it for six or seven years now and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. When I use this on my dogs, they got deathly sick and I didn't know what was wrong with them. They wouldn't move. They, I had to literally carry them everywhere um, and I kind of come to the realization that it was the shampoo. So I ended up giving them all another bath I got, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's the Paul Mitchell version of dog shampoo, and I used that on them. It took them about three hours, and they were completely better. Not completely better, but a lot better. So I'm definitely going to put my name on the line and say that this made my dogs really, 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 really sick. So if you're thinking about getting this, um... Please, to God, don't use it on your dog because they will get really, really sick. Like I said, I didn't know that you weren't supposed to use them on your dogs. I thought it was completely fine because I've used my Pantene on them for so long. Never had a problem. But now I know you're supposed to use a different kind of shampoo on your dog. Next is the Tresemme Thermal Creation 
heat tamer leave-in spray and it's a heat protection spray um the only complaint i have about this is my pump broke so i had to pour it into a different bottle and use that until it was gone but other than that i have to say it did a really 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 good job with this because the pantene one doesn't hold a candle to this so definitely if you have not used this and you are have colored hair or you have damaged hair or you just want to keep your hair nice and healthy use this before you flat iron or blow dry and it will keep it great fine toothpaste um i actually love this toothpaste and i didn't repurchase it and now i'm kicking myself in the butt for it because i'm using crest again the crest um toothpaste and i have to say I don't like it nearly as much as this and this really keeps my teeth from being sensitive and I'm really really sad that I'm out of it so I'm definitely gonna go have to get more because it's just it's a necessity for me because I have such 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 sensitive teeth you've seen my empties videos before this is no surprise um, two of these caress whatever it's called I'm sure there's probably more but I just didn't put them in here because this thing was actually overflowing with it's trash really so I don't want to just keep them all around but I do have two that I managed to keep and they're the burnt brown sugar and carrot carotene butter I'm not sure what that is but it's exfoliating it's amazing it smells like heaven I love the smell oh, it smells great it's like a sweet nice fresh clean scent so absolutely absolutely love these I lied there's three the next is my deodorant and it is the secret clinical strength waterproof deodorant and I know it's like all wrinkly or whatever but it comes and it looks like that focus looks weird but it just looks like this and you twist up the bottom and your product comes out and I have a real problem with sweating and it seems like this really takes care of that problem so it's again the secret clinical strength and this one's in waterproof I just find it to be the most clean scent for your underarms makeup product this one is the Maybelline colossal volume Express I really love this mascara um, I have to say it's probably one of my absolute favorites this one will never let me down so I definitely love it it's just definitely a go-to mascara always.